Alright, so today we're gonna take a look at one weapon that got mentioned a lot in my primary weapons video. It's a weapon I like a lot and it's a weapon that has a very different approach to the build than your usually primary weapon. And that is the Gotva Prime. So the Gotva is a, a very, very special weapon that we got on Tenacon this year and that we could also get from Barakitir later. Uh, when it came with Barakitir, it was a fiesta. You could make a ton of plot by just buying this gun over and over and then selling it, which was exactly what me and a lot of other people did. And the unique trait of this um, of this weapon is that when you hit somebody with a status effect, uh, your next shot has a 15% chance to have a critical chance of 300%. So, guaranteed red crits if you get a status uh, effect. Uh, not really guaranteed. There's a 15% chance to get it, but it's a, a red crit. So, what does this mean? This means, at least for me, that we can ignore this stat right here. Because it's built into here already, and because it's a flat 300%, then even if I remove hammer shot and put this, this is still 300% essentially. But we are losing this and this. So, I got three builds here. And they're mainly preference. Uh, two of them, uh, or this one is for general usage. This one is if you want to go grenier heavy. And this one is an unfinished build as you can see if you want to go corpus heavy. And it isn't finished because my Raven has a negative to Corpus. So using this will do less damage to Corpus than just using this. So we'll see how all of these uh, perform. Uh, a bit of explanation why I'm going Corrosive Cold on my Grenier build. So Corrosive, very strong against Grenier Ferrite armor and can uh, reduce enemy armor by 80% on its own. With an Emerald Archon Shard, we can take that up to 100% armor reduction. And then cold damage is something that I think in this gun is a must because first of all we have primary frostbite that increases our multi-shot and critical damage and then we have the cold proc itself that gives us 50% uh, more critical damage with multiple stacks onto the enemies. So I know this build doesn't have serration or any primary arcane that gives a flat bonus damage but you're gonna see that even without those, we still get a lot of value from this. So we're gonna go with Heavy Gunner Eximus, Grenier. Generally, I don't think I have Grenier Bombard units. Uh, Eximus, I have normal ones, but they will probably get one-shotted anyway. Do I have any Bombards? Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of a lot more people to make this a bit more fair. Because right now these are built for uh, corrosive, and these guys are weak to corrosive, so they will take more damage from it. But anyway, you're seeing a lot of reds, obviously, because of the crit. Now primary frostbite is fully stacked, and now galvanized aptitude will be stacked for the first time. So after the first kill, we immediately see a huge difference in damage. And as you see, there is a lot of red crits, which is the reason why I don't build this for crit whatsoever. There is quite a bit of red critting. So, this is without any kind of damage buffs, no roar, nothing, no dot procs either. Just a regular, normal... What? I spawned 20 heavy gunners, where are these guys here? Anyways, very satisfying sound, very nice fire rate, really good single target gun, not the best but really good. And this is my go to build, I usually pick this versus Grenier on a disruption mission for fun, I don't really use this for much else. Now here is a more all around build with Hunter Munitions and Viral Heat instead of Corrosive Cold. On this one, we do use that hit. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot, on this one, you want to use primary blight. I'll get to that later. But um, 
Yeah, on this one we use that head for the extra damage since Hunter Munition scales up of base damage a lot. Cold Proc scaling of normal damage, then elemental damage and everything. It's way, way more worth it. So on this one we're gonna see, you know, quite a few procs. Quite a few dots over there. Pretty different approach, still does a lot of damage. This is a more late game setup for general usage and you can replace some mod probably with uh, with a Bane mod if you want to go that specific, but I don't think it's needed. As you can see, this is without roar and it does a lot of damage, so... I gotta fix this. I'm not sure why this guy skips on me. I could stack on them, but I don't think that's fair. But yeah, Gotva is a very, very satisfying gun to use, and I think this is why it got mentioned so much. Uh, it was a lot of people's favorite gun, and honestly, I can definitely see why. It is one very satisfying assault rifle. So this is the last build. This is Magnetic Toxin, are we gonna see? Uh, ideally, if you have a Riven with more Toxin damage, you can uh, do stuff... Why do I have Hunter Munitions? Okay, this makes more sense. I needed to do this, and then this. Okay, now it's better. <laughs> I have no idea why I had Hunter Munitions, my bad on that. Anyway, so Primary Blight. Um... On toxin status effects, critical damage, multi shots, we weigh in toxin damage as much as possible to get the benefit. Uh, and then we just, you know, do that. And this gives us, once again, crit damage and multi shot compared to our primary, uh, what is it, primary frostbite. Primary frostbite gets 3 crit damage, 2.25 multi shot. This gives 3.6 and 1.8, so a bit more weighed in, in crit damage. Which means that this number will go even more upwards and will do even more work like that. So, really nice build for Corpus. I'm not gonna test this one just because, you know, it is not really finished. It's just the idea so that you understand if you really want to go against Corpus with this gun. This is what I use mainly. This is also a really, really nice build if you want to go this way. And just not have to swap out with uh, the Bane modes every time that you want to play a mission. And it's generally a really, really fun and nice gun. Uh, hit here gives us the 50% armor strip. Viral gives us more damage so that the Heat procs and the Hunter Munitions proc do more damage. Vigilante supplies help our crits. If we get a red crit, we can get an extra tier after the red crit. That's why we have some exclamation points um, in the numbers as well. And generally, this is a really nice gun. Apparently, it has punch through, but I don't really notice it. I mean, I can try. As you see, I don't hit the person behind him, so I'm not sure what that punch through is. Maybe if it's like that. Did I hit him? Yeah, I did. So it's a tiny, tiny bit of punch through. I guess to go through. Uh, the bodies of uh, dead Grenier enemies and stuff like that. But yeah, generally, it's not something like the Stalta Puncher where it's one meter, so it can fully grow through a body. Uh, but, you know, re really nice gun. Uh, very fun. I see why people like it so much. This setup with the extra cold damage for more critical damage and the extra primary frostbite for more critical damage, really nice. I can imagine this with Chroma would be absolutely ridiculous since it doesn't even have any kind of serration built into it. So if somebody wants to try this and go with Chroma, hit me up in the comments. I really want to see the results on that. I do not have Chroma currently because I used to and then I decided that I would go mental and then I sold all my Warframes and started anew from just having Wisp and nothing else because I am stupid. So now I need to get everything back. So, more videos coming, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll have some Discord and Twitch links in the description below.